Hello friends! Today we're going to be doing a quick video on, probably not quick, but it's a video on how to make butter mochi. If you guys have not had butter mochi or mochi at all, Butter mochi is really popular in Hawaii, and I used to work, I used to, I used to live in Hawaii, and basically you're using mochiko flour, which is a sweet rice flour, and it gives like a, like a, like a gelatinous, not gelatinous, it's like sticky, like a gelatinous sticky texture when you put it in products, or like, um, I don't know if you guys seen mochi ice cream, and it's the coating on the outside of that ice cream, and that like, it's like, I'm a bad describer, um, <laughs> um, where it's like sticky and stretchy and so, I don't know, whatever. It's kind of, in my sense, it's kind of like a, like a gelatinous type of thing, but it's supposed to be sweet, um, too. Um, I've also made, um, like fried chicken with this and bomb. It makes it just sweet, um, instead of like a stickiness. But this is when you start adding all of the products and stuff or ingredients into the mixture. So I'm going off of a recipe from odoliciousholi.com. And basically, um, you need a pound of mochiko flour. This is what that is. I used a little bit of it, so I don't think it's a whole pound. But I'll have to double check. I'll still do the recipe as is, but this is the star of the show. Three cups of sugar. So this is my sugar container. So I'm gonna grab with three cups from there. You need a half a cup of butter, which is right here. Um, probably gonna be using this whole thing. I usually use butter sticks. I don't have butter sticks right now, but this is pretty good. This is the Rummel and Brown butter, and it has like yogurt in it, which makes it so much sweeter. So good. Um, we need five eggs. So I have a whole carton of eggs. Um. Uh, baking powder then you need vanilla extract and then it says coconut milk but I don't have coconut milk so we're just gonna use a regular milk um I don't like coconuts or coconut milk or anything coconut and then I just don't have it so I only have this so I'm just gonna use this we're gonna see how it is it's kind of like a trial and error because I don't know how it's gonna look um but I'll face the camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing um but I'm excited I used to eat this so much when I was living in Hawaii and it was so good and even when I moved here to Illinois I joined a hula group and we had like um days i think that was like once a year we'd have like this whole like show and we would do all of our dances and in the back of the um like conference area like conference hall or whatever they used to have like there'd be like hawaiian gifts and hawaiian treats and there's also hawaiian food that we would have and then so they had this as well and i love it um, I'll probably do more like how to do certain things because I lived I only lived in Hawaii for four years But I haven't been there in like lived there in like nine years almost um, 11 or almost 10 years starting like next year and like I don't know. I really liked living there and it was a very awesome experience definitely love the weather love everything about it the culture everyone is so nice and it's compl it's completely different than living here in illinois um so hopefully one of these days i'll be able to go back i do visit and see everyone um every couple years so i've been gone for nine years and i went last year and i saw my best friend and my sister so my sister actually lives there right now and every so often she's lived there for like two years i think three now almost next year since next starting next year and she always sends me like gifts and stuff so I'm excited to make this like a little series of like me making like cultural food cultural food I don't know um but I also want to make stuff like Filipino tradition because I am half Filipino so I want to do like more like that I'm also Japanese so maybe like a little bit of Japanese treats because I know mochi is from Japan <laughs> so it's kind of like Hawaii is like a cultural melting pot like there's so many different cultures especially Asian Pacific Islander cultures like all meshed into one so when I was living there I felt right at home I just blended in I was the minority but it was the majority type of thing so um but yeah so I'm gonna do a little bit of this butter mochi and I'll show you guys how I do it 
So first, it says to um, uh, pre-cook the oven or pre-bake the oven oven to 375 and so I'm gonna do that real quick and then lightly grease a 9 by 13 pan. Now I'm at 13. So my last video of me making food I was actually in my old apartment so this is now my new apartment. Um, we lived here for almost a year in January a year. Um, so it is kind of messy so we're just gonna ignore that. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna put this on the side and then let me put some cooking spray. This is for personal use and for my boyfriend and my family. Um, I do want to start um, like making stuff for the public and then if anyone wants anything because I feel like I was a great baker back in the day so I just want to continue that oh, mixing bowl and then let me make sure I have all of the things that I need before I bring you guys down it says to combine all of the ingredients so that's exactly what we're gonna do so this is a little bit less than a pound so I'm just gonna use I think this whole thing is a pound anyway yeah so it's okay if it's a little liquidy it doesn't really matter to me but you typically would want to use a regular like amount um so let's do that this one is the coda farms um, mochiko powder or mochiko flour and then this is the part that's like a lot so that i have to do three cups of sugar so one Yeah, this is so much sugar. I didn't <laughs> realize it was that much. Okay. Oh my god, I'm inhaling it. Okay, one tablespoon of baking powder. This is a double-sided one. A tablespoon of baking powder. And then it says I have to do a half a cup of butter melted. So let me just actually grab another container so I can melt it in there. Okay, so while that's in the microwave, I'm gonna do the vanilla. So it's a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So this is the vanilla extract. And then 12 ounces of coconut milk. Um, 12 ounces is a cup and a half, so I'm going to just use the regular milk for that. that so. This is the melted butter. I have a little bit of butter on the side, so I'm gonna let it kind of melt down a little bit more. And then let me do the five eggs. And it smells so good. Okay. So now we mix. It says to use a wooden spoon until the batter is smooth. I don't have a wooden spoon, so we're just going to use this plastic spatula. But mix that around. 
but you want to keep mixing until smooth and in a sense like this consistency there's a little bit of lumps in there but honestly I really don't care um, but it says to bake at 375 for one hour I did this last time and I want to probably check it in 30 minutes and then again in 45 minutes so that I can make sure that it doesn't burn um, the edges will get more golden brown but we're just going to see how this looks but there's that okay so we're just going to so I grease this pan and then we're just gonna put it in You're gonna like jerk off on the picture or something? No, you're in it with me. He's gonna be in it with me, the pictures. We have like a photo around me. Oh, you're just doing a photo shoot? No, it's a whole thing. Whoa, 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 what is it? Okay, you guys are gonna hate me. But I put it in for 30 minutes, right? And then I didn't hear my timer go off. I put it on the timer for the, um,. <laughs> The oven and I did not hear it at all I was in the living room didn't hear it I just I maybe not put it in correctly and like <laughs> here, it here it is it's not supposed to look like that it looks a lot less brown in the look lot less brown but it actually is very brown it's not supposed to be like dark like that. It's actually supposed to be a lot lighter. So we're gonna see how it looks. So let me do a little taste test and I'll show you guys. It may have been because I used regular milk. So yeah. So it's, I literally just took it out. It looks like cake. <laughs> it's not supposed to look like cake, but it looks more like cake than it does um, mochi. But as I, it's like a butter cake with a little bit of mochi. Let me grab a spatula. Oh, okay, cool. So it's really hot. But you can kind of see the stickiness at the bottom right here, but the top is like cakey. So I should have taken it out way before then, and then it would have been more just like a mochi. So I'm going to let it cook. I'm going to let it sit for a couple minutes, and then I'll be back to do a review. So this was a total fail, um, but I have the cake on here. Um... Appearance wise, I definitely can see where it's mochi and then I can definitely tell where I left it in for too long and it turned into a cake. So if you turn it, if you leave it a while, it's going to turn into um, a cake. So that's nice because then I can make butter cake, butter mochi cake, you know, so. Um, I just took it out of the oven so it's pretty hot still. But I don't really care. Let's taste them separately. So this is the cake and this is the mochi part. In a sense, it has like a custardy taste because of the milk and because of the eggs. Which I like. And this is the cakey part. I definitely taste the butter mochi part, but I like them together. I think it's pretty good. So this is kind of a fail. Um, if you're going to do it, make sure you watch their, your timer. I know. Um, I put 30 minutes. I don't know how long I was away from it. Mm, definitely don't do the hour that it says on the recipe. Um maybe check after 20 minutes instead and then see and then you want to make sure it's like a golden brown but not like actually brown and like looks like a cake you don't want the top to like cook because it's it's turning brown because of the sugar i believe so definitely not like this a little less than this hope i'll post a picture of what it's supposed to look like so i'll put that in there but 
And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.